Hi loves, I just want to have this chat about flexi rod sets in exchange for wash and goes and twist outs and explaining the science of it because there's nothing to take offense of. Now, this client here has relaxed hair, okay? And I'm going to show you the difference between relaxed hair and natural hair in the same video. But right now, I am combing her hair. I want everybody to remember that there is a very big difference between detangling the hair and combing the hair. Just like if you degrease a pan, you are degreasing it, removing some of the grease. If you detangle the hair, you are detangling the hair, removing some of those knots and tangles. So you detangle on dry hair, right? So our hair has already been detangled before it was shampooed, then it was shampooed and conditioned. After that, I sprayed leave-in conditioner in her hair and now I am using nothing but foam wrap. Now, what you see me doing with this comb is smoothing and detailing. When I say that you don't comb your hair with a rat tail comb, it means that you're not just randomly combing your hair with this comb. This is the comb that we use in the professional hair salon for detailing. So I'm going to use the comb, the rat tail to make detailed parts. I'm going to use the rat tail comb to help me guide and separate each strand as I'm doing the silk press, guiding the comb through the hair. I am going to use a rat tail comb to completely separate each strand so I can smooth moved it across the flexi rod right and so you will notice the very first thing that I do is wrap the ends and then I go up towards the root get some tension and secure it I love flexi rods but they do take a while and they are time consuming but you can lock the curl pattern that you want to display into place you do not have to use a, a flat iron you don't have to use a blow dryer or anything a lot of times a lot of people get confused when you use flexi rods on dry hair it's almost like something that you do to preserve a style but I really really suggest that you guys get a mannequin this is from inside the seven day challenge they inside the seven day challenge they understand that they are not test dummies practice on a mannequin and once it's perfected on the mannequin then do it on your hair whatever you've been doing that isn't working keep doing that okay until you master it on the mannequin because you're gonna play in your hair and break your hair off even more than it already is if you have not practiced so again when you are using combs combs are used to smooth the hair when we talk about you know our history and if whether or not our ancestors kept their hair stretched our ancestors were not doing wash and goes and twist outs they were not when you look at the history the types of hairstyles that they did took hours like hours on top of hours because the weaving techniques were so strenuous and the reason that they had these stretch styles is because they were keeping their hair stretched so the sebum can travel from roots to ends within the seven day challenge they understand how to properly cleanse the scalp if it is in braids but it is something that you really really need to understand because combs are not the devil but using combs wrong are if you look at the comb there is not a hair in my comb and all of that and I know some people would say like oh but her hair is relaxed it's different I'm gonna give you an example in a second but as you can see I'm smoothing her hair with this comb right her hair is already detangled but remember you have cuticles and the cuticle is lifted right now or open I should say regardless of your porosity the cuticle is open so again you have three bonds that hold your hair together the salt bond that is broken by highly acidic products like apple cider vinegar and the disulfide bond which determines how curly your hair is now when you look at her hair you can see her hair is extremely thick and extremely curly the amount of sulfur to sulfur linkages you have within the hair shaft aka the amount of disulfide bonds you have in the hair shaft are going to determine how curly your hair is so the curlier somebody's hair is the more disulfide bonds they have right and then when it comes to the density right 
right? Because her curl pattern and her density are two completely different things. Her density is going to be determined by the amount of hair follicles or the amount of hair strands she has protruding out of every pore. So these are things that are very, very important. But you can see, regardless, I'm still doing her hair the same way. The only difference is I have to comb her hair a little more to evenly spread the product out and to smooth her hair i first smoothed her hair with a wide tooth comb and then i went in with the um, detailing comb aka the rat tail the rat tail comb is your detailing comb you are not detangling with a detailing comb okay they're, they're two completely different things so those are things that i really really want you to understand um, I remember the video that I posted um, link in the description box below where I said this video was the video that made me like all right God I hear you right when I blow dry her hair it was because her hair was matted when she came in and our hair is weakest when it is wet so if I was to continue to detangle her hair with the comb while it was wet I was going to cause way more breakage people get confused because as you can see I've slowed this video clip down but I gave you guys the a sped up clip of this video right and it looks different this video in real time versus this video sped up link in the description box below it looks very different but you can see the most time that I'm spending on her hair is smoothing the hair shaft right so um within the seven day challenge i explained that more or if you were to ask the question in a live i would explain that more but it is so imperative for you guys to understand it's all about smoothing so the the deduction of combs and brushes is the reason that so many people have so much mechanical damage and so much breakage because your hair is never properly smoothed like i was saying when our ancestors were stretching out their hair for one the one argument people always say is oh well what were you doing before blow dryers my love they still have not figured out how to rebuild the pyramids so if y'all really think that we are the first civilization with electricity come on like seriously and i'm gonna have a live video coming really soon with a couple of my clients that are from africa and their their view on natural hair and your guys's view on natural hair are completely different so it's not something that has to be like argued about and debated so much because as you watch this video you will notice there is no difference in the way that i'm doing her hair and the products that i am doing from relax to natural the only difference is I have to do a little bit more smoothing you'll notice in this video or in this video yeah you'll notice for this client that is relaxed all I have to do is use my detailing comb because her hair is already detangled I detangle her hair a little and then I put the phone wrap on and use my detailing comb to smooth it wrap the route around and we're done right that is the difference those are the only differences between relaxed and natural hair but you still have to follow all of the same maintenance practices and what is actually is no neither form of wearing your hair is easier than the other one because if you have really really thick curly hair that is virgin right virgin and that's what we say we don't say in the salon we don't say relaxed versus natural it is virgin hair virgin chemically treated hair either like one or the other right and so if you have chemically treated hair right you now have more responsibilities because you have removed some of those disulfide bonds and your hair is growing and that new hair is going to have a different amount of disulfide bonds than the hair that you already chemically processed so it's not a big deal at all but you have to have proper maintenance practices if you are a person who is kind of lazy and this isn't offensive it's just 
just what it is if you're a person that's kind of lazy and you don't really want to do that much to your hair getting a relaxer is not a thing that you should do because you have to do more you are not going to do less getting a relaxer um i know that i can always tell when somebody's made a video about me because it'll be a whole bunch of people coming in on like one specific video and lately the video is keratin treatments and relaxers you guys relaxers and keratin treatments are nothing alike they're nothing alike one puts a a film and a coating on the hair shaft and the other one takes away bonds on the inner part of the cortex and one doesn't even really get inside of the cortex but one isn't going to damage your hair based on porosity as long as it's done right and one the only people who should be using it are people with certain lifestyle patterns and habits or people with extremely high porosity hair you'll notice that a lot of people who get bleach if they get their hair lightened absolutely you get a keratin treatment why because you just bust your cuticle wide open you just removed a crap load almost because a crap load of pigment from the hair so absolutely you need keratin because you need a film over the hair or else your hair will be more prone to breakage 100 percent that's why keratin treatments are used in the salon not because they're just this oh great thing for natural hair absolutely Absolutely not because it is something you're you're putting a, a permanent film on your hair you're cooking a permanent film onto the hair so to compare relaxers and keratin treatments are they're nothing alike to compare relaxers and silk amino treatments they're nothing alike they do two completely different things to the hair they're dealing with two completely different parts of the hair shaft the keratin treatment is only dealing with the cuticle the the relaxer is dealing with the cuticle and the cortex so they're they're not even to be compared right so again this beauty here um has a relaxer and we are giving her a flexi rod set because i never was a person who allowed my clients to get a silk press every week absolutely not because it's just it's not something that is necessarily like feasible now if you are a person who isn't getting a hard silk press meaning like if you just wanted to be like a little silked out right like let's say you blow dry your hair and then flat iron it on like 300 then okay that's different but if you trying to get silky smooth pocahontas every time that's gonna be a problem if you're straightening your hair or 450 every week that's gonna be an issue right even if you are using olaplex so i always tell people no more than every two weeks and then if you go further than two weeks make sure you are using a dry shampoo to make sure that the natural bacteria and yeast that is on your scalp is colonizing so the longer your hair is dirty the more bacteria is going to be there and that's what ends up leading to different scalp and follicle infections right so you need to if you want to go longer than those two weeks which i don't really recommend it but if you want to go longer that third week you need to make sure you hitting your scalp up with some dry shampoo i leave links to all of my recommended products in the description box below so make sure you go over there and check that out but again you we don't have to be in this state of like everybody wants to argue I think prior to COVID it was still of course a whole bunch of people arguing about stupid stuff but I feel like now since so many people have been like I'm an influencer now or I'm a creator now I think that people are under the misconception that the only way that you can get ahead is if you have some type of controversy or if you're involved in some type of negativity of some form and I am at a place in my life and at a place in my career where I simply do not have time. So I know that I talk about um, the seven day challenge a lot, but that is because within the seven day challenge, I, c I am free to be myself within the seven day challenge. I We can share the information and the group that is there. They are open to hearing new things. They are open to learning and none of them are in the mind frame of like whatever CNC is go no within the group they are gurus they understand how to research for themselves it's not oh sin said this debunking this like so that's why it's so funny 
whenever I'm seeing these videos where people are like, oh, debunking send out. It's like, you guys, what are you talking about? Because even, for example, within the seven day challenge, I'm not like, this is what I say. And this goes, it's like, no, this is what it is. And here are my sources. Go research it for yourself. Go look this up and make the pieces hit and make it set for yourself. And then they are able to see for themselves. Oh, my God. And then it's not even up for debate. It's not even up for discussion. It's to the point where um, the way that people are able to learn from me, right? It's not just about learning what I have to say, but really learning the, the science of the human body. And when you learn the science of the human body, right? If you do have a bald spot, because you understand how the human hair growth cycle works, you could just sit back and say, okay, what amino acids could I be missing? What foods am I eating that can be causing this? And all of these different things. And then you're able to sit down and you can come up with a diet and a plan for yourself right of course I'm not putting it up on the screen but we had a conversation in one of our lives about uh, a different food to eat to start increasing your density and then guess what they went made the recipe and posted it in the group for people to see it's so simplistic but this is the thing you don't have to join my seven day challenge to understand this information within the link of every description box right i put all of my playlists there and i have broken things down everything that i've learned i have made videos about and when i learn new things i put them here now the application i charge for why because a lot of people that are listening to the sound of my voice right now were sent here from people who are debunking Sindal, right? So I'm not making my 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 intellectual property free and accessible to all. I'm just not doing that. I'm not. I did in the past, not doing it anymore. So thank all of the debunk send down people for that right but it's a beautiful thing you guys i really want you to get in a place where you get out of this mind frame of oh curly hair versus and a lot of people are not gonna like what i have to say next but it is what it is i think that the main issue is is so many black women have found their divinity and their sovereignty in their hair and in the way that their hair looks so for me to say oh no don't just wet your hair and walk outside is you're taking that in offense and you're taking that is me saying you can't show up like you are you're not beautiful no that's not it but baby if you use the argument well god made black women with curly hair and we supposed to keep it like that well guess what god made your breath to stink when you get up in the morning but what do you do you go and you brush your teeth god made you to have eye boogers in your eyes when you get up but what do you do you practice maintenance you get up you wash your face right you you clean that that crud from around your lip you get all of it up if you if you go work out and you begin to uh perspire you begin to sweat and you stink nobody's walking around like uh god made me to smell like ass so i'm gonna respect my creator because my creator would be offended if i didn't smell the way the creator naturally made me to smell no you don't do that you go get in the shower it's a form of maintenance right so some people choose to do their maintenance in different ways right there is a reason why there's a certain group of women on this planet that struggle with length retention the and the group of women who struggle with length retention and with hair growth they're not struggling hair growth it's hair growth is not the problem everybody grows hair the problem is retention because for whatever reason we're just stuck in this mental like lock of if I'm a black woman and I and I do anything to my hair other than just letting it sit on top of my hair, I am ashamed to be a black woman. And if anybody says that I can't wear it like that, they're telling me that I can't be myself. That is not what I'm saying. Lose your offense. We're talking about maintenance. The same way that you have maintenance on your teeth. 
the same way that you have maintenance on your gums the same way that you have maintenance for every other part of your body why is it that the maintenance of our hair is something that has to be so controversial right you have options you can do a blowout and a flat iron you can do a roller set you could do a flexi rod set you could do a foam set like there's so many different things that you can do there are just two things that i do not think are a good idea for length retention and for a healthy scalp and that is a twist out and a wash and go that's it and i know it's really hard for a lot of people to accept i know that it's really hard for a whole lot of people to hear but the majority of my clients and even if you go and look at some of my previous lives just look at the replays the people who are asking questions the most are women who have been team natural for 10 years my last live it was like she was like help me help me please like help me what's wrong well, i'm like tell me what's wrong and she says i've i'm both balding everywhere I don't know what's going on and I and I asked okay well what have been your patterns for the last two years what have been your patterns and every time across the board is team natural practices she said I've been wearing twist outs for the last 15 years and out of nowhere all of my hair is falling out and now I'm balding so you guys this isn't like a battle or me versus them no you have to ask yourself you don't have to listen to me but ask yourself is your way is the right way why is it that by the time you've been doing this for 15 years your hair is still beginning to thin and bald but then there are women who have relaxers right or women who don't necessarily have relaxers women who uh straighten their hair not all the time but sometimes or women like freaking Beyonce who wear weaves most of the time with hair today but why is it that women who are not team natural in it up 24 7 are getting to the same age or have the same time frame without breakage without thinning without balding but then on the same token on the other end there are women who are dealing with it on the opposite side of the spectrum and this is not coming from a person who is trying to be argumentative this is coming from a person who my job one of the ways that I pay my bills is through one-on-one -on -one consultations and through consulting and so many other things in this field and the number one issue and the number one key determining factor that matches across the board are all of the team natural practices so these are things that I want everybody to look at and think about without offense I know that things that you haven't heard of are hard to hear especially when you um when it causes you to be accountable but the thing is when I make these videos I'm not talking about one person in particular I'm not when when I google my name right when I google send out of course a lot of positive comes up because I'm I'm <laughs> girl a lot of positive come up but when you really 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 look even deeper too you'll see one or two people like i hate her she is so irritating she is so annoying she is so irritating so when you guys are watching channels like that and when you're watching people like that y'all have preconceived notions about me before you even come and watch my videos you have no idea who i am you just see this thumbnail with my face on it and they like oh she and then you come over here and i'm i'm not bashful at all so it's like yeah i don't like her she makes me uncomfortable but i want to ask you to get a pen and paper and write down take a screenshot right now of every last hair shaft disorder that's on the screen right because trichology is a real real certification it is a real field of science so if you need to rewind it again take a screenshot of every hair shaft disorder that is on the screen and if you are natural and you do not use heat after you type in all of those hair shaft disorders i want you to go on google and i want you to type in the name of each hair shaft disorder and i want you to type in what are the causes of these hair shaft disorders that do not include heat or chemicals and the reason that i'm saying they don't include heat or chemicals is because you don't use heat and you don't use chemicals so just type it in and then when you type it in make sure after anything that you type in at the end of it you put dot web md
right dot web md or dot edu at the end of everything because you'll get a whole nother google you'll actually get the google that has medical journals and different experiments and all of that when people like drop your sources you find the source yeah so take the screenshot and then type in after whatever you post in dot web md and then look it up for yourself look it up what are the causes that do not include heat or chemicals of these hair shaft disorders and i can promise you i can promise you i can bet all of the money that's in my bank account that all of the causes that you're going to find are all of the practices that you guys swear by in the same natural community it is what it is and the thing is i don't care how many people make a video about me i'm never gonna stop talking look at this from my seven day challenge and look at the time frame in which she was able to thicken her follicles back up when i say dead follicles i'm not saying oh dead dead hair follicles hair follicles that you perceive to be dead because most people see bald spots and say my hair follicles are dead no they're dormant we all know this we know about hair transplants we know that once a hair follicle dies that's it come on guys i want y'all to start paying attention to the people that y'all listening to right if people are sending you over to my channel right when look at the energy that they have over there and then really listen to what i'm saying screenshot what i'm saying go on google make sure you're on the medical journals and on that side of google and not not the side of google who random people where random people are just making blog posts and really do your research what are the causes of all of these hair shaft disorders this is a beauty from inside of the challenge guys and her hair was super long she thought her hair was so long until she went to the shop to see what it was this is across the board these are women from different countries within the seven day challenge it's hard for us to go live sometimes because the majority of the women within the challenge are not in the united states of america this is a worldwide thing so these are things that i really want everybody to be cautious of at this point as you can see you guys saw what i did this is like you guys know if you are new here then these are older videos from like six seven years ago but we we do them like podcast style just so you can get a visual of what i'm saying as i'm saying it you know what i'm saying like a different type of little little sin cast little sin podcast little simple cast you know but this is how her hair ended up turning out and i did not add a whole bunch of oil i didn't add any oil to her hair we just added a little bit of why did i just clap we just added a little bit of serum to her ends and that was it and that was all okay that was it and that was all that was it and that was all so i really really hope it makes sense to you but i really want you to pay attention to how much density matters the density of your hair does matter and then re going from relaxed to natural it matters but her hair is not thinner because she has a relaxer her hair is a little it's, it looks thinner than the other girls because her they have two completely different densities so these are things that i really want you to think about but I'm not saying, oh, the only way you can wear your hair is if you straighten it out. And the only, like, y'all, like, get out of your feelings and get some sovereignty about yourself. When I say, no, don't do twist outs and wash and clothes, I'm not saying, oh, don't love yourself. I'm saying that that form of hair extensions is one that really causes a lot of mechanical damage over time because you never really comb or brush your hair properly and the thing is this what i'm gonna say is this if you disagree it is okay one of the most beautiful things about planet earth to me is the fact that we have so many different people from so many different nationalities with so many different religions and ethnic backgrounds and to me that's what makes us beautiful moving to las vegas nevada taught me that they call it the melting pot there are there's literally somebody from every place in the world there's no dominant uh race in las vegas and for this reason you begin to see the divinity in everybody you just saw me style the last girl's hair the one who had a relaxer now this is the one who is 
who has virgin hair, right? Remember from natural to no, she has virgin hair. The other girl that you watched, she had chemically treated hair. In the hair salon, that's the difference. Not relaxed versus natural. No, it's virgin versus chemically treated, period. That's it. That's all. So you can see her curls look different. The density is different. And she can still have her big, thick, curly hair. She still has big, thick, curly hair that defies gravity. Okay? You you putting a roller set in your hair does not make you less natural. If, if you ask me, you're less natural doing the lock method, putting five or six different layers of products on your hair. These are things I want everybody to think about. All right. We are going to have a lot more information coming, but I want y'all to know it's about the way that you use products. Just like you saw all of these reviews with people talking crap about Beyonce's products. I'm not using them. That's because I don't need to try new products, but people were using half of the bottle and then complaining about the products just for her to turn around and say, no, when you go to the salon, you use just a little bit like this. Look at what happens. So, the things that everybody says are damaging like wigs and weaves she wears all the time and her hair is to her butt literally these are things that I want us to think about and this is just a little chit chat for today I have so much coming but I just wanted to tackle this because it is something that um I, a comment that I keep getting you know and something that even the grandchildren are saying as they come over over here because again I think something's going on where people are making videos about me so it's been like this rush of weirdos to the channel but it's okay I want us to get to a place where even the weirdos and the people who have it figured out can sit and talk together it's okay remember if you need extra help look in the description box in the description box I have made a playlist with free videos you do not have to pay me anything free videos but if you want it broken down step by step, join the challenge. Thanks for watching. Bye.